Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. My name is Matthias and I'm going to show you how to modify your apps on your iPhone. You're looking at my iPhone right now and you'll notice that I have a lot of apps and some are standing by themselves like the camera and the clock for example and some are in groups. So you'll notice to the left of the clock there's one called business and inside business if I tap on that group it'll expand and reveal all the apps that I have in business. So this is what's called a stack or a group. Now if I swipe from right to left on my iPhone screen I can see what other um, other screens I have on my iPhone and as you add more apps you will need more screen. Now at the very bottom of my apps you'll notice that I have a little white dot and to the right of it two gray dots. These represent how many screens I have and the white dot represents which one I'm currently viewing. So in this case I'm looking at my first screen. If I scroll towards the right I'm looking at my second screen and one more time looking at the third screen. Now you'll notice there's a little magnifying glass in the very far left of that so if I scroll all the way to that I'm looking at the spotlight search feature in iOS. And we're not going to go through that right now I actually made a video of that earlier today and it's posted here on YouTube as well. So I'm going to scroll back and this would be considered my home screen which is the first level. Now in order to edit the placement of my apps I want to tap and hold any app. I can, for example, notes, if I tap and hold they'll start to dance and I can let go of that app at that point. What this dancing means is that they're available now for either deletion or for moving. So for example you'll notice the app called remote here has a little X at the top left corner of it. But then other apps like clock do not. So some you can delete and some you cannot. The rule of thumb is if it came with your iPhone you cannot delete it. They're apps that came with iOS and you have to have them on your phone. Other apps that you've downloaded from the app store such as remote or in my case this on voice feed app that I can delete simply by clicking on the little X at the top of the left corner of the app. So let's go to the third screen and I'll just go ahead and delete this app right here called the QR reader. All I need to do is click by tapping on that little X and it'll ask me if I want to delete. I'll just tap delete and that'll be that. So that's how you delete your apps. I'm going to scroll back to the first screen. To move the apps around all I need to do is tap and hold on one of them and then move it to where I want it to sit and you'll notice all the other apps get out of the way and you can just place it there. To make a group the way you see news or social or business here where it has many apps contained inside one stack just select the app throw it on top of the other app you want to group it with and boom there you go. A default name will be placed in this case productivity you can go ahead and replace that by tapping on the X and I could put something like information so whatever makes sense to you it could be anything once that's done and you tap off of it that stack will be called information and anytime you tap on it it'll expand if you need to undo this simply drag the app you want to take out and place it by itself for example, if there's only one left in a stack, it doesn't really make a sense, uh, much sense to have it in a stack. I'll drag that out as well. The stack will disappear and I can place it by itself again. To add more than one, simply keep dragging apps to a stack. And you can, in, the, in this case, you'll notice there's three. So it's as simple as that. It's very easy, very Apple-ish, and that's drag and drop. When you're done, all you have to do is click your home button which is the physical button at the bottom of your phone or iPad click on that and they'll stop dancing so there you go that's how to arrange your apps on your iPhone how to delete them and make them into groups alright I hope that helped